welcome to Ryan to Great Outdoors and today we're going to show you how to build a race car and these are all the tools that you need. Okay hey Ryan, so for this part I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to use before we get into all the different parts and materials, okay? okay. Now it's important for this that you always have a grown up to show you how to use the tools properly and safely, okay? Okay. So always make sure that I'm here in order to help you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to need a hammer, a set of Allen wrenches, a pencil, <clears throat> a tape measure, a drill, a saw, we'll use a hand saw, and some screws, okay? Okay. okay right. So, you ready to build your race car? Yeah. Okay. I know you're excited. You've been asking me about this for a long time. So this is going to take a little while. It's probably going to take a couple of videos in order to finish this. But today we've got all the parts to get started just on the axles and the wheels. Um, and I know we're kind of going backwards. We should probably build the race car first and then this part. But I have a better idea of how I want to do this. And we're still working on the design for the, the rest of the car. Okay. So we'll keep working on that. And then today we got the wheels and the tires and we'll attach those to these metal axles. We got two, one for the front and one for the back. And we'll screw that onto these two by fours. Oh, we don't have our steering wheel yet. We don't have the steering wheel yet, but that's okay. Cause we're gonna, we're gonna figure out how we wanna steer this. And, and where we're gonna get the wheels. Where we're gonna get the parts. So we'll have to order all that, right? Um, so we'll use these end caps to hold the tires on, the wheels on. We'll screw the axles down with these clamps right here. And then there's these collars that kind of help on the back side of the wheel to hold the wheels in place. Okay? Okay, right. So we've got one of these collars on here inside of the wheel, right? Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put one of these end caps on the outside like this. And that holds everything in place. Okay? Okay. And then... We'll tighten down on the other side of the wheel. We'll tighten down this collar, and that holds the wheel in place and keeps it from wiggling back and forth. Okay? Okay. Now, turn the camera to where you can kind of see both sides. See the collar here? Mm-hmm. And we'll put the end cap on there. We're using the hammer, and then we'll be set. Okay. Okay? And turn it off. Okay, Ryan, so for this part, we need to attach those metal axles onto these wood pieces. Okay. This is what we're going to use to attach it to the bottom of the cart, okay? Okay. All right, so we just measured the inside of those axles, and we know that between the two clamps is 29 and 3 quarters inches, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to come here to the 29 and 3 quarters mark, which is right here, okay? Put two marks right there. Okay. Okay. And then with anything that has a straight edge on it, I can just use the saw oh, for this part. Can I use the saw? You sure can, but at this part, I'm just drawing a line. Look, I'm going to connect those two spots right there and draw a line with the pencil. Okay. That's what, that's the line we're going to cut on. With any build project, you got to have a really good design. Yeah. Yeah, specifications and a parts list. So, why don't you tell everybody about what this thing's going to look like when it's finished? So, this is what um, it's going to look like when it's finished. We're going to paint it. I'm going to put some headlights on it. And I'm, we're going to paint on the number 100, like flames on it. And. How many seats are you going to have? Two. Okay. You're going to have flames coming out the back of it? Yeah. I, mean, I hope not. No, okay. like, like, um. And what's this? This is a picture of the back of it over here? Yeah. What's that? Is that the back of your head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's a pretty clear idea of what it's going to look like. So, um, I think we did a good job with the axles today. And why don't we show everybody what those look like? And then we'll get on to building the rest of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, Ryan, that's a pretty good job for today, and we're starting to see the finished product, right? <laughs> Not exactly, but we've got wheels, tires, we've got axles. Is that what it's going to look, is that about where you're going to be sitting? Yeah. Yeah. Show me, show me what it's going to look like when you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But we decided not to put a seat behind me, and we decided to put a seat, like, right here. So the driver will be right here and the passenger seat will be right here.
Okay. All right, well, we'll build the rest of it in a later video, okay? Now let's go work on our design and buy some more parts. Okay. Bye.